How is it going, people? Right, we continue from the last one where we are leaving the lakeside spot as we were just entering France. Now we are about to head further north into France so we can find some more park ups along the way before we head towards the ferry back to the UK. <laughs> Break again, but not, it's not horrendous. It's, it's all right. Um, just drove past those three geezers in, a, in cars that were stood outside their cars with guns, right? Orange jackets on with guns, hunting down, hunting down. I'm assuming war, right? And they were like, just stood there, like scratching the heads, like nothing there. I shit you not. Two minutes after driving past them, a big ass boar just ran across the road. I was like, whoa! I thought it was a fucking bear at one point. That ball was all, I ain't, get, I ain't sticking around for that, I'm off. Wow. That was something else. I've seen ball before, little ones, but that one was huge. Jesus. That was a, that was a black bear sprinting. <laughs> Mental. And yes, I know, it's just a gun. You know, it's no surprise. But when you got car after car going past you with what looks like cartel in the, in, inside with guns in their lap, it's a bit like, ooh, that's a bit different to the UK. But hey, let's continue. <laughs> Now, although this one isn't bad, I just plan to stay here for two days, right? And it's just a bit depressing to look at. <laughs> like, just a bit meh. So, I think there's one 20 minutes away from here. I think I'm gonna try that one. Another, don't get me wrong, it's perfectly fine, right? It's just a bit meh. Don't know. As I always say, if the vibe's off, go somewhere else. Do you know what I mean? vibes off go somewhere else so i'm gonna go somewhere else 20 minutes from here which is still just a bit further up the motorway and then jump off and then it's there so we'll try that one So with having driven all day and found this air, I decided just to get some food down me, some pasta and all the stuff. Ooh. <laughs> just using what I got left in the cupboard. And some garlic bread. Garlic bread. Oh, sorry, Gar <laughs> garlic bread. <laughs> and decided just to chill out for the night and uh, watch some crap on YouTube on the telly. 
I didn't get my head down. Oh. Morning, people. Here's a wet and horrible one, as you can tell. Um, so I'm just going to do some driving. I probably won't um, share any of it. Unless something's pretty, but it's all dark and miserable and horrible. So, we've got another three hours north. I'm about seven hours from Dieppe Ferry Port now. Um, uh, there's an air next to Dieppe. Um, that uh, it's like a little camp, yeah, a little camping place. It's only like 14 quid a night or something. I think Connor was saying. Connor recommended it to me. So if you're watching this, mate, nice one. Um, but I say I've got like five days yet. So, but I'm about seven hours. So I'm only doing like three hours a day. Oh dear. Sorry, I just had some cereal and it's gone. Um, yeah, I just thought, you know what, I was going to stay here, but I'm like, well, the weather's crap. The bakery's not open. Nothing's open on a Monday. Like, the shop's not open on a Monday. The restaurant's not open on a Monday. The bakery's not open on a Monday. What's that all about, man? <laughs> yeah, it's not particularly pretty exactly where I am. It's just a car park, pretty much, you know? And I'm just like, well, I might as just keep moving. Um, I'm going to another air, which is about three hours, yeah, three hours, six minutes north from here. So I'm hoping. Um, it'd be a nice one. It'd be nice if we can get on the electric. And I know it's not, I know I keep saying about electric, right, but when there's no solar, um, yes, my battery does charge up, but if I plan on staying somewhere for a couple of days and it's raining and horrible, then it's nice to just sit there with, with electric, isn't it? No, like, don't get me wrong, I can sit with my battery set up. If I don't, game on my laptop and I just do bits and bobs I can sit there for two three days you know what I mean not a problem um but I do like a nerd so yeah but yes that's um get the wagon started and get moving Now you'll have to excuse the b-roll now there is a lot of it in the next this video until we go back pretty much it's just i'm just driving i'm just heading back and there's a reason why i didn't take the toll roads because i just like the countryside like the views i like to see more you know and you've got to pop into little villages like this you know and this is a little tiny little village and look at this air you know i don't mind being in places like this where it's nicely tucked up out the way and yes i did have the spot right at the end because you know just hide away you don't be seen you get less trouble don't you you get less trouble but this place what a beauty and i do hear that there is a bakery nearby and it is open in the morning ah oh, isn't that lovely and that i'm gonna google some places around here Just pull my handbrake a bit too tight oh well i could be worse oh, i love my van oh some guy just watched me do that oh good Oh. oh, and relax. Oh. <laughs> Let's find some food. If not, I'm going to have to make some food. But I don't think anywhere's going to be open right now. It'd be cool if there was a pizza machine somewhere nearby. I've got pizza in my brain now. I want pizza. I want pizza. I should have got pizza when I went past that other one. It was like 25 minutes until I got here. 
Although nothing's stopping me eating it there. Stupid Joe, ain't you? Duh. Oh well. I'm a, I'm a location guy. Once I got a location in mind, I want to get to it. But if we do a little map search now, where am I? Actually, I'll tell you where I am. I am in just, just, just right of Venantes. Venantes. So I've got pretty much two trips, two, two, three hours to get to get to Dieppe. But I'm gonna probably stay here for maybe a day or two, and then I'm gonna venture to. Um, Maybe maybe another spot, and then go park up near Dieppe, where there's like a little air with electric and stuff like that, and uh, probably spend two nights there before I jump on the old ferry back to the UK. Oh, it's taking me out of me today, taking it out of me. Right, anyway, let's find some food. Let's find some food or make some food. I'll, sh I'll show you. I'll show you whatever I make. Anyway, I don't usually go in the back and film my food because I think it's a bit tedious. Look what I'm making, I can't cook. I can't cook. I can make pasta, I can make cheese on toast, I can reheat stuff. Um, don't get me wrong, every now and again I do surprise myself, right? I keep saying to myself, I wanna make a nice little, like a, uh, like a sausage casserole. <sighs> Ooh. I used to love making sausage casserole when I lived in a house. Not that I can't make it in a van, I just haven't. But yeah, anyway, let's, let's find some food. Now, we've been unsuccessful in finding food. Guess what I had again? Pasta, olives and garlic bread. Now, this is about three days later, so don't judge me like it was one after the other. <laughs> so the next morning, after the weirdest sleep ever, I, I just woke up at like six in the morning and that was it, I was just wide awake. Now, obviously I had fresh bread on the mind. Now I was gonna go try and find a nice bakery for that, some of that French bakery goodness. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> Aha, mission complete. <laughs> oh, now it's been a while since I've been up that early. Jesus. My eyes are still st st wired shut. Might have never nap, but look at that. Ooh. Pan of chocolate, got croissant, got big bucket, got a big bucket. Oh, look at it, look at the side, it's so warm and it's squidgy on the inside. Mm. Mm. Uh. Mm. Oh, yeah, one in France. Mwah. Bang him, absolutely bang him. Right, I'm gonna start my day. I don't sure start my day, I must, no. I'm gonna have a little nap. Because <laughs> I've got loads of driving to do later. <laughs> but, mmm, oh. Look at it, ah. This brain bed just bang him. Mmm. Anyway, yeah. Oh, you can see my tap. Mm, dear. Oh, you know, I have one of them naps that just turns into a sleep. Oh my. I think it's like nearly one o'clock. <laughs> right. I need to push my teeth thing off fall asleep with my mouth open. <laughs> right. Let's get the van packed down and then make a move. <laughs> so we'll continue from here in the next one where we continue towards Dieppe. But obviously this whole trip, something was gonna go wrong eventually, wasn't it? 
What's going on? I come to that junction now, I put my foot on the brake and it went, no! Ah, oh, have I got a pop brake line? Ah, braking, engine braking, really slowly, really slowly. But things can always be worse, eh? <laughs> See you in the next one.